That was good. He was, you know, out in practice in a regular jersey, able to take contact. So that's a good step for him. Does that make him an option for you tomorrow? Um, I'm not. I'm not sure at this point. So. Well, he, he tra- changed jerseys, so that's good. So we'll see, see how he does. But I think any time you get players back is a great thing. Any time you can get them out of uh, a different color jersey and put them in a regular jersey and have them practice and take contact, I think that that's a positive as well. And so we'll assess it and see where he's at. I, I know he's been a pretty key guy for you all season, but does, does what Zach Jones has done the last month, does that make it more of a difficult decision whenever Eric is ready? Um, you know, when... We're, we're fortunate. We've got uh, a lot of good defensemen here right now. We've got great depth for the playoffs and um, decisions to make on the back end and decisions to make up front. I think Zach's played really well. That's a good thing for us. I think all of our defensemen that come in, Ruedel played really well. He was here steady. Um, you know, we ended up, uh, you know, have ended up with, I think it's nine, nine defensemen now and 13 forwards, 22 players, only 18 can play. So there's going to be tough decisions no matter what. Eight skaters, that is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've I've liked his game. Um, I thought the line was good last night. Again, we're you know chasing the game. We're mixing that line a little bit, but um, you know, I think I think Johnny's done a good job on that line as well. They've been able to really produce positive numbers and scoring chances and play in the offensive zone. And there's a lot of positive things that they're doing. But you know, Capos. You know, he's he's looking strong right now to me. He's skating well. He's using his body, um, being physical, heavy on pucks, heavy in battles in the offensive zone, uh, looking to generate and it's paying off. All season, you've been impressed and happy with what Moody has played, you know, giving you a lot. Has something changed recently with Will? Is there is there a drop off for, for him? Um, just let me just say, with any player, I think that there's always peaks and valleys inside of a season. I think with a young player, there's no difference. Um, you know, Will has been a, a, a really good player for us. Um, and again, a fortunate have 13 good players right now that they bring something different. You know, it's hard to, it's hard to compare uh, Will with Bread and Panarin. It's hard to compare Rempe with Kreider. I mean, there, there, it's different different types of players and so all depending on what the game might need or what we think it might need we make decisions and so uh, it does factor in a little bit play but um, also it factors into it is you know the the boxes that you're checking inside the game with regard to face-offs power play penalty kill you know whether that whether that line uh, the line is being put together for some specific reason and so there's lots of things that are checked off and those decisions factor into what we're doing as well. Um, we're happy with Will and the way he's played this year. He's had a, a really good year for us. Um, hope that continues. For a rookie, you know, at this stage of the season, when it's his first time going through a full 82, I mean, is there, you know, is that kind of a hump you got you need to get over, I guess, for some guys? Um, it can be. I, again, I think that there's peaks and valleys for everybody. I do think that sometimes younger players feel that a little bit more in their first go through. 82 games, training camp, 82 games, and what it takes to to make it through that. Um, but he's, you know, he's played some really good hockey for us as well. And um, like I said, there, there's there'll be decisions, no matter what the decisions are. The decisions are going to have to be made. Um, the same, if if you know, just talk, the same as talking about Will. I think that there's. Ups and downs with all players. There was a real good pop when he first got here, and um, I think the last couple of games have been really good as well. And so, um, just trying to get to that level of um, consistency with his game. And, and we had a quick conversation, you know, three, three, maybe three or four games ago. And the last couple of games, I've noticed his speed. I've noticed his competing on the pucks and the battles, and that line's been been good. And um, for me, controlling the game a little bit, controlling the numbers a little bit, looking to generate. They, I think they've done a good job. I think he's done a good job. And he jumps into a line with two guys who played together for a long time. Yeah. I wonder, is that like, I would ask him this too, is it, yeah. is it, do you think that's a challenge for a player or, is it, or can it almost at times be just simpler? I don't, I don't know if that's probably, I don't know if there's a, a 
paint the brush, one answer fits that question. You know what I mean? I, I would imagine if you had 100 players, 50 maybe fit in and 50 didn't, or you know, 30 did, 30 didn't, and 30, 40 got moved to a different line. So I, I, I can't answer that. That would be a, probably a better question for him. I think that he's jumped in and he's played some really good games there. Like I said, the, the first couple I, I noticed quite a bit, the impact on the line with his speed. And um, and then most recently, the last couple, I think he's like I thought he played a good game last night, and um, the puck was on his stick. He was winning his battles, and uh, going back to uh, the Arizona game as well, I thought it was good. When you go uh, against a division rival, where there's some bad blood on the line, is there a specific message in the locker room to approach a game like that? We got to we got to win. Um, the division games are always, I think, a little bit more competitive. Um, you know, there's probably a little bit of when you play inside your division more than you do anybody else. There's probably a little bit more tension inside those games. Um, you know, I wish I wish we were a little bit better last night. You know, we had a division game against Pittsburgh, and you know, the two points got away from us. We didn't wasn't wasn't our best, and so you know, we work today to try to fix that to make it better. Can't do anything about it now. We we didn't get those points. We can't try to fix tomorrow and control tomorrow. There's two points at stake, and so that's what we're getting ready for tomorrow is to win the hockey game. The races that you're involved in now, division, President Trophy, you're in the mix for the number one season conference. Do any of those have maybe added importance for you? Like, is one of those maybe more significant to you than the rest? I think we should, for, for me, we, we've just been talking about winning the games, the two points. And if um, we have six, six games left? Seven, seven, seven games, two and five. Two wow. and two, two, two on the road, five at yes, home. Exactly. So we got seven games left. We should just focus on those games and playing the right way, doing the right things, winning hockey games, collecting the two points. And if you do that well enough, you'll check a lot of the boxes that you're talking about, which will lead to different things. You know, you win your division, or you could get home ice through the conference or through the through the playoffs. Um, those will lead to different things, but more importantly, if you're winning those games, you're probably doing the right things on the ice, which to me has more value um, to enter into the playoffs, know that you're playing well. With um, two goals to in the last two games, right? Yeah. Have, have you or, or the organization been in touch with the league to try and get an explanation about how they're calling these plays on the net? Again, I, <clears throat> I didn't challenge the one last night. Just the the second one, just because it it uh, there's when you listen to the criteria and what the league has to say, we do get explanations, and you try to learn not only from your own, but you try to learn from the other ones that happen around the league as well. And I think when a player's in the crease and there's some sort of interference on the goaltender, even though it may not be blatant, if you're in the crease by yourself, if you put yourself into the paint that goalie needs to be able to move. And it seemed like in that instance last night that the skate got caught on the pad as the goalie was trying to move that just kind of hit it and he wasn't able to move the way he wanted and just didn't feel comfortable calling it. We often do go backwards and check to see what the thought process was um, just to try and keep learning ourselves. I don't. Playoffs, I don't think so. I think that that I think that they would probably do the same thing and call it the same way in the playoffs. Playoffs, I think it maybe comes into play more because there's always that that's emphasis. Right, right. Well, there's always that emphasis about going hard to the net, going hard to the net, and so with that, you know, the it's hard to stop your momentum on that line or before that line, and then is your body just because your skates here, or your hips out here, do they nub the goalie, and can he not get his glove across? There's things, but there is that emphasis, I think, even more in the playoffs. And um, and there's always, I think there's always great ones too, but it, it is what it is. I don't know if it's a perfect science. And if you showed three clips up here, this room could be split right in half as to it was or it wasn't. And I think the, the league tries to do the best that they can. They try to explain it the best that they can. And then even after that's over, you may agree and you may not agree. And that's, that's it. And so... Um, we need to go to the net. You need to get in there and, and create some havoc. But you know it's tough. We seemed like to, you know, a lot of things just didn't go our way last night. It's our own fault, you know. But just the, the start and the calls and the, the, the goals called back and whatever it might be. So, hey, 
Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys.